One of the best things about the Insta360 ecosystem is the editing app. Using this app, you are able to create some awesome effects, either by manually editing or using the AI options. Used in the right way, the Insta360 app can be almost like a full desktop editor to create vlog videos. You can combine clips, add music, color correct, to create full length videos which look like they were edited on a paid program like Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you a mobile only workflow for editing your Insta360 clips and how you can combine them together to create vlogs quickly and easily without the need for any paid editing program. The first step is to import your videos from the camera to your phone. You are actually able to edit your Insta360 videos without importing them. All you need to do is connect wirelessly to the camera. I recommend importing your videos into your phone as this tends to make editing smoother and doesn't rely on your wireless connection remaining stable. The best way to import your videos is to use the Insta360 card reader which plugs into your phone and allows you to instantly edit all of your videos from the memory card. Just take the memory card from your camera, put it into the reader, plug the reader into your phone and you can start editing right away. The reader is an accessory which is sold separately. You can check the link in the description below if that sounds like something you would like. Let's start looking at some of the editing options. To go to the editor, all you need to do is go to the gallery area of the app, tap one of your video clips and you'll be taken to where you can begin editing. Now let's take a look at the editing options here below. Tapping on the trim options allows you to trim your video by dragging from either end so you can crop parts that you don't want. Jump cut allows you to trim your video from the center as well. So if you wanted to keep the first 30 seconds of your video and then jump to the last 30 seconds while deleting 30 seconds in between, you would use jump cut. All you need to do is drag along the timeline Tap and select the parts of the clip you want to keep. Tap again to select the end of the part you want to keep, then scroll along and do the same again. Anything else not selected will be removed and you will jump from one part of the video to another. Aspect ratio obviously allows you to choose the aspect ratio of your video. That is basically whether it's going to be square, rectangle, widescreen. Color plus is an automatic option, basically boosting the vibrance and saturation of your video. It's a simple on and off option. I tend to turn it off and do the color correcting in the more advanced adjust option um, later on in the editing process. The most important part of your workflow is reframing. This is where you control where the image is pointing at any given time, allowing you to shoot first, point later. This is where you achieve the full creative control over your videos that only 360 cameras allow. You'll notice at the top of the editing screen there are two options, snap and edit. These are the two ways to reframe your 360 video. Let's start by looking at edit. In the edit tab, you begin the reframing process by going to the start of your timeline dragging your finger along the preview image to choose where you want the starting option to be. Once you've chosen your starting position, tap the yellow plus key and you'll have made a keyframe. This tells the editor that you want the video to be in this position at this specific time. Go along the timeline for a few seconds and drag the preview screen to a different position and tap the keyframe key once again. Now when you play back from the beginning, you'll see how the video moves between two keyframes that you chose. Continue to do this throughout the whole video or up to where you're satisfied with the clip. You can always crop parts that you don't want out later. You can get very creative with keyframes. You can zoom in and out. Keyframes close together on the timeline will transition quickly and those far apart will pan slowly. You can choose to focus on just one object by keeping it centered and adding keyframes every few seconds. Reframing using the edit tab usually results in a more cinematic and professional looking video. Using the snap tab allows you to use your phone's gyroscope to reframe your 360 video. Instead of manually adding keyframes, you physically move your phone around as if you're filming in the location again. You start filming by holding the circular shutter key and moving your phone while you press down. You can zoom in and out by dragging your finger up and down on the screen. Reframing your 360 videos in this way results in a more natural looking video as if you were filming on your phone. It's also a lot quicker. Now you should repeat this process for all of the clips that you want to reframe and add to your final video. A final option if you want to focus on one specific subject or object throughout the entire clip, hold your finger down on that object and the app will ask you to drag to pick a subject. 
Drag your finger along that subject, drawing a box around it. Once you're done, press OK, and the AI will automatically focus on that object for as long as you deem fit. You've probably noticed that 360 cameras are capable of creating some pretty awesome effects. Insta360 has a whole section on their app allowing you to automatically create these special effects called ShotLab. All you need to do to create these effects is follow the shooting instructions of each effect and upload the relevant clips, and the app will do the rest. Some of these, some of these effects are a little bit gimmicky, but some can turn out pretty awesome. If you want to include any in your final video, then choose the relevant effect and let the app do its thing. Then export that ShotLab effect to your phone's memory. So, now you have your 360 videos edited and reframed, and your ShotLab videos exported to your phone's memory. Now it's time to put all your clips together, add transitions, music, and make any tweaks that you think are necessary. Go to the Stories section of the app and select Create a Story. You'll be presented with all the videos you have shot. You want to select the videos that have the little scissor icon at the top left hand side. These are the clips that you've already reframed and are ready to go. To include your ShotLab videos, you need to tap the phone option at the top of your screen and go to the folder where your ShotLab videos were saved. At this stage, you can also select any other videos you have shot with your phone or that happen to be saved on your phone. Once you've selected all the clips you want to include, you will be taken to an editing suite where you can begin to create your final video. You are able to rearrange the order of your clips by dragging and dropping on the timeline. When you tap a clip, you are able to trim it down if you feel it's too long. You're also able to change your reframing options by selecting a clip and tapping the reframe button. You have the choice of using the keyframes or the viewfinder. Next up is adding transitions between your clips, which really helps to make your videos look dynamic and professional. Tap the links between two clips and you'll see the many transition options available. Try and add transitions that match the flow of your clips. You'll also have all of the other editing options such as color correction and speed should you want to further edit your clips. Using the color corrector is especially important. I think you can really 90% of the time boost the quality of your video by adjusting these options. The options will depend on the environment that you shoot in, but I really recommend going through all of them and just adjusting to see what kind of effect you can get. The final step is to add music. There are dozens of different songs available in the app itself to suit different types of videos. And you're able to add more than one music track to your video. You can also add your own if you have some saved in your phone. So your video is pretty much ready to go. You've added all your different clips, you've reframed them, you've color corrected, added speed, added transitions, added music, pretty much most of the things you can do on a paid desktop program. So now it's time to export. I recommend selecting the custom export options and exporting at the highest resolution and a bit rate is of at least 50 megabits per second to maximize quality. And that is pretty much it. Using this method, you should end up with a professional looking video, despite being edited entirely on a free mobile app. The only thing that's really missing, I think, is the ability to add text. I would really love that ability. Being able to add your own text, at least at the start, would be really uh, pretty much the icing on the cake. So you can take a look now at this video that I edited entirely on the Insta360 app using the process that I just showed you. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. I've got plenty more on this channel, tutorials on how to get the most out of your 360 cameras, and there's plenty more coming up in the future. So thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.